On some days, you can find UFC welterweight fighter Mike Swick at a place that feels like home. The prestigious American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California, where he trains for combat inside the octagon. But there's another place he longs to be, and on many occasions, he is there. With the American military on the front lines of some of the most dangerous places on earth, giving his time and notoriety to those who truly live the combat life. I've been uh, flying us around the Black Hawks. It's awesome, man. Great time. Really accommodating. Why? It's always where he wanted to be. Uh, my next door neighbor growing up was an ex-Navy SEAL from the Vietnam War, and uh, so he, he was always talking to me about the military and it got me all pumped up and so I wanted to be a, like a super soldier one day. And so I was all, my whole childhood, it was all military. And uh, you know, I got into martial arts because I, I wanted to, you know, you can't join the military at eight years old, but you can join martial arts and start training, you know what I mean, to where by the time I'm 18, I'd be like just crazy hand to hand and then add guns and knives and stuff and then I'd be this ninja commando. So he went out and joined a Taekwondo school. My first style was Taekwondo. So we had a Taekwondo gym by my house and I, uh, I went down there and, and I really, really liked it. You know, I, I more, more so was into the fighting aspect. So I wasn't into the forum snare as much. Um, so I only made it to like green belt or something. I just wanted to fight all the time. So I did a lot of sparring and then eventually moved into kickboxing, uh, pursued kickboxing, went to Thailand, trained. When I put my mind to something, it's, it's so hard to give up on it, you know, and I put so much time into martial arts. By the time I got 18, so I, I actually took a job overseas for the State Department working in, in Russia. And uh, over there, I got to meet a lot of military guys and, and government guys. And that was the year where I decided what I was going to do at that point. And at the end of the year, after talking with everybody and going through everything, the consensus was to push martial arts a little bit farther, see what happened, see where it took me. Uh, fought for years in kickboxing, and then when I saw MMA, I knew. You know, I knew that was going to be where it's at. That, that's where the, the next level is. And then one thing just led to another, and I got in the UFC, and the career kind of kind of uh, blew up. And, and so I, I looked back, and I felt really regretful that I never went in the military. So I feel like I never served my time. So now, being in the UFC, I have an opportunity to give back and to show support and to help out. So I'm 100% committed in doing so. And so that's why I do so much for the military, uh, with combat life, with uh, the, the tours. Um, you know, I've been to nine countries so far, uh, supporting the troops, uh, a lot of bases here in, in the States, and, you know, I'm just, I'm real gung-ho still, even though I never went in. You know, I, I'm very much a supporter of the guys and, and what they do and their discipline and who these individuals are, you know. Swick's involvement with the military continues to grow as he gets the chance to spend time with so many troops in harm's way. But none of this is political. It's all about honoring the dedication of these heroic men and women. Uh, I think everyone can argue different wars and, and, and whether we should be there or whether we shouldn't be there or this and that, but what you can argue is the fact that these guys are who they are and they're out there um, doing what they're told and, and, and serving our country and, and, and doing what it takes to, to, to give us the lives that we have. And, and I think we can't forget about that. In honor of their dedication, Swick created an entire clothing line called Combat Life. Initially, when I started doing military tours, I didn't have a clothing line. So I was taking all my sponsor shirts that, that sponsors would give me, and I would pass them all out, uh, like to Walter Reed and to the bases, and uh, obviously ran out because we were doing so many. So I just started printing my own shirts and putting Combat Life on. It was the name I came up with. and. Um, so I started printing it and then eventually got a trademark on it and, and acquired the, the full rights to Combat Life. Um, and that's what it was. It was just shirts I passed out to bases and, and did events and um, did charity and just, just helped out. You know, it was kind of like my own thing. And, uh, and then it just kind of went from there to, to full on retail to where now we sell, you know, shirts. And <clears throat> where we're at right now is we're trying to you know, we're trying to make enough to keep it going. Printing clothes for people is awesome. They love it, you know, and when, when you give them good stuff. And Combat Life has been so gratifying going around and seeing the reaction when you hand out shirts on these fobs in Iraq and, and Africa and, and uh, you know, all these places. So, you know, it's stuff that, that definitely, you know, makes me feel good to do. Swick's travels have gone viral. On the official Swick YouTube channel, 
fans can follow Mike's adventures, fishing and snake charming in Thailand, navigating the streets of Djibouti, and on his many military tours. I initially started it kind of to show all my friends and family back home all the stuff I do versus having to send them all different videos and stuff. I just kind of posted it, you know, in the beginning of my career. I didn't have many, many followers or whatever. And then it kind of just blew up and a lot of people started uh, checking it out. And so I just decided to post everything from all my travels. And um, it, it's got a lot of feedback, you know, a lot of, a lot of interesting comments. And, um, you know, I have some where I'm draining my, my ear. I have one where I'm draining my elbow, which has gotten a lot of like uh, hits and then some crazy stuff in Africa and Iraq. So I don't know. It's like if you can post, I mean, I figure if I post as much as I can and it can entertain people or help them or inspire them or something, it's worth it, you know, so why not? Swick's career development mirrors the growth of this sport and the rise of AKA as one of the top mixed martial arts schools in the world. Well, AKA is everything. I mean, I, I was here, I've been here for eight or nine years, and you know when I first got here, there wasn't an AKA. I mean, it was the American Kickboxing Academy, but we had another team, and um, that team broke off. And then it was the original guys, as far as the fight team, was me, Thompson, and a guy, Bobby Southworth, who's uh, since left. And we kind of started AKA, and then we had nothing. You know, none of us were fighting in the big shows. We didn't have a big name. Um, we just all trained hard and, and, and trained together. And then from that point till now, it's, you know, it's just blown up and, and our gym and, and the AKA brand and, and name, I think is, is very known, you know, I mean, I think it's one of the top gyms in the world. Getting this chance to have a combat life, Swick understands that it all leads back to his passion for martial arts. Fighting has provided a lot, you know, initially it was like, I wanted to have respect, I just wanted to do good at it and, you know, be known for being a good athlete and, and martial artist. and. You know, I hope that it brought me um, enough money to make a living at it, you know what I mean? And, and do it full time and not have to do it while working and doing other stuff. And then hopefully, I, you know, it would branch off into other things and it surpassed, you know, every expectation I've ever had. You know, it, it's really opened up and I was very fortunate to get a lot of, a, lo a lot of different um, opportunities. So I'm very satisfied with that. Mike Swick has continued to push himself to do everything he has set out to accomplish starting his own clothing and printing business, traveling the world for the military, and training hard to compete at the highest level of his sport. My motivation and my, my reason, you know, I've always had a, a strong mindset to, to accomplish goals that I set for myself. I feel that I have to earn it, and, and that's what I take into every single day at AKA.